Derek Cross will be returning to McAnally Hilgeman Racing full time in the Truck Series in 2021. And it looks like we might know who possibly could be taking over the 38 car for Front Row Motorsports in 2021. What's going on, guys? It's Daniel, and welcome back to our video. We got a couple of NASCAR stories to discuss today on the channel. Let's go ahead and just jump straight to it. The first story we're going to talk about is iRacing, as according to Adam Stern, he stated with a lot of one-day shows next year, NASCAR and iRacing are working on airing sim races during the Friday-Saturday broadcast windows that would typically have practice or qualifying to help make up for the lack of real-life action, per sources. As you're right there, they're looking at possibly having some iRacing events like the Pro Invitational Series and other racing events on the days when there is no practice qualifying. Now, there are 28 races that will not have practice qualifying. Those are the races that are not the Crown Jewels and the new racetrack. So there will be 28 races in 2021 that will not have practice qualifying. So it's very likely, more likely than not, that there will be certain races where we may see some pro invitational events that drivers could also end up participating in as well. Now, I honestly would rather just have practice and qualifying, if we're going to be honest, for every single race. IndyCar and F1 are able to have practice qualifying. Of course, they have to follow the COVID-19 procedures, but they're able to have practice qualifying. Again, the major reason why they are considering this move is, of course, to save money. That's one of the big things, is that these teams are looking at NASCAR to find ways to save money. Now, of course, the next-gen car, even though at the beginning it's going to cost more money, it is over time supposed to save teams money and help teams save a lot more money in that aspect. But I understand why NASCAR is considering this to be the way to go forward, at least for 2021. And keep this in mind, this would just be a temporary for one more year with COVID-19 still being around and the concerns of it still being a major problem going forward in 2021. It should hopefully be gone by the time we start the 2022 season. But you have to also remember that there is possible concerns of it still being around throughout the most of 2021. I mean, NASCAR has already had to make changes for 2021. And Again, there have been some teams that have been wanting NASCAR to just overall get rid of practice and qualifying overall. And I hope that this isn't the case. I hope maybe we can get it back by 2022, and I hope that we can go back to normal. But it makes a little bit of sense why NASCAR is considering this, and hopefully in the future practice qualifying can come back in full form and capacity going forward in 2021. And maybe by the 2022, we'll be back to normalcy. On to the next story. As I mentioned it again this episode, Derek Cross will be returning to McAnally Hilgeman Racing in 2021. He will return to the 19 truck in 2021. And with Kevin Belcourt going to uh, Spire Motorsports in 2021, he needed a new crew chief. So he will be taking Matt Noyce from Thorsworth, who was Ben Rose's crew chief. Matt Noyce will be the crew chief for Derek Cross in 2021, which I think is a pretty decent pickup, if you ask me. So I honestly think this makes a lot of sense for him to come back to the truck series. He really surprised me in 2020. He performed very, very well in the 2020 season. I mean, I thought maybe he was going to struggle a little bit. I think he is a very, very talented driver, and he's put up some really strong performances, especially in the KM Pro East and West Series, where he was a championship contender, respectively, in both of those series, and performed very, very well driving for Mac Bill McAnally Racing. And when he came over to the truck series, I did not really expect him to do well in 2020, if we're going to be honest. But in 2020, he almost made the playoffs, had some really strong runs with the team. And at points, was contending for wins, you know, especially at Darlington when he only finished, like, not that far behind uh, Ben Rose when he won the race when he ended up finishing second. So he had a really strong performance at Darlington and only missed the playoffs by about eight points. And if he won that Darlington race, he would have been in the playoffs. So I think that this is a very, very smart move for Derek Cross to come back full-time to Bill McAnally Racing. And I think that his expectations and his goals for 2020 one, are to try to go out there and try to win some races for the organization. I think his goal is at least win one race and try to make the playoffs. Now, if he makes the playoffs, I don't see him getting it past the round of 10. I think he'll get eliminated in the first round. But the fact that it at least seems like every year he seems to get better as a driver, Derek Cross does, I think he'll put up some really strong performances with this organization. Derek Cross, I think, will do quite a bit for this team. And especially with him, them, I believe, having a Tory backing and Toyota backing as well. And with him probably being a future prospect, maybe one day go up to 23XI Racing or to Joe Gibbs Racing in a foreseeable future. I mean, I would have been surprised if he went over to Kyle Busch Motorsports. But Derek Cross does have a lot of talent and a lot of potential to be a Cup Series champion one day. But we'll see what he does in 2021. But I think this is a very good decision. And I cannot wait to see what Derek Cross is going to do in the 2021 NASCAR Camping World Truck Series season. And now we're getting on to the final story of this episode. As we may be knowing, starting to know, 
who might be the candidate to replace John Ernie Mitchell at Front Row Motorsports in 2021. And that driver might shock some of you is Anthony Alfredo. According to Adam Stern, Anthony Alfredo is in talks right now to join Front Row Motorsports to fill its open seats for the 2021 NASCAR Cup Series season per sources. Anthony Alfredo in 2020 drove for Richard Tillis Racing. He only had two top fives in 19 starts, which really isn't that great for any balance, but he had decent runs. And you have to remember that with there being no practice and qualifying for the races that Anthony Alfredo ran, he really didn't get enough time to get up to speed. But in the last couple starts of the year, especially, he started putting up some really strong runs with that team. Yes, I know that that team in 2019 won the championship with Tyler Reddick when Tyler Reddick drove the two car before he went up to the Cup Series in 2020. But Anthony Alfredo and Maya Center, both who drove their cars, had some respectful runs and both ran pretty well. And I really thought that Anthony Alfredo was going to end up being the first driver to be re signed because of how much sponsorship he does have and some backing has and the popularity he has on TikTok would really help him re sign with the team. But it's looking like right now that Anthony Alfredo could be the leading candidate to go to Front Row Motorsports in 2021. Now, I have had some insider information regarding Front Row Motorsports, and apparently there is a possibility they have signed somebody for Front Row Motorsports going into 2021, and maybe it's going to be Anthony Alfredo. Now, the concerns that a lot of people are have if he is going to go full-time to Front Row Motorsports is that he may be being rushed up way too quickly because he doesn't have a lot of experience. And that is a very, very solid point. But one thing that is different from the Xfinity Series is the Cup Series car currently at the moment is a lot easier to drive compared to the NASCAR Xfinity Series cars because the Xfinity Series cars have a lot more off-throttle time and they have more horsepower as well. Compared to the Cup cars, they have a lot more on-throttle time and it's a lot easier to learn a Cup Series car right now than it is to learn a NASCAR Xfinity Series car. So it makes quite a bit of sense for him to go up full-time. On top of that, Anthony Alfredo does have a lot of popularity, and he's a very marketable driver, especially since he's good with the fans. He's very interactive on social media, which you need to be, especially nowadays, you need to be more interactive on social media to gain sponsorship. And not only that, Anthony Alfredo does bring a lot of funding as well and backing for himself going forward. So I think it makes quite a bit of sense why they are considering Anthony Alfredo to be the driver going forward full-time for Front Row Motorsports in 2021. Now, if he is confirmed to Front Row Motorsports in 2021, what are my expectations for him? Arguably, just don't crash the car as much as John or Nima checked in. Just get experience out there, just learn, and try to see if he can put up a little bit of force for Chase Briscoe in the Rookie of the Year honors. I really don't think that he's going to be a contender for the Rookie of the Year honors in 2021 because Chase Briscoe is driving for Stuart Haas Racing compared to Anthony Alfredo, if he is confirmed to the 38 team of front row, their cars, while they're all right, I guess, and they've gotten better in 2020, they're not going to be able to compete against the Stuart Haas cars, unless Anthony Alfredo can surprise me, but I really don't think he's going to be a contender for Chase Briscoe in 2021, if he's officially confirmed to front row motorsports. Now, there are four drivers I've heard in the running for the 38 car, Anthony Alfredo being one of them, Brennan Poole being another driver, Todd Gillen and Ty Dillon. Ty Dillon and Ty Gillen were not the logical choices. Brendan Poole would be a pretty logical choice. Apparently, he was looking to maybe sign with Front Row in 2020 before that kind of went out the table when John Ernie Machuk was ended up returning, and they went back to race cars. So regarding the rest of this, if Anthony Alfredo is confirmed, what happens with Ty Dillon? Now, a lot of people think, oh, Ty Dillon is going to end up signing, you know, with Rich Schultz Racing, but if you want my honest opinion, if Ty Dillon was already going to sign, was going to go drive for RCR in 2021, they already would have signed it, and maybe they were waiting on to see what Anthony Alfredo was going to do before they were going to do that. But honestly, if they were going to have Ty Dillon go to the Xfinity Series program for RCR, they already would have announced it. That's just my honest opinion on that. But maybe he will end up going to front, maybe going to uh, Rich Schultz Racing the Xfinity Series in 2021. That is very, very possible that could still end up being the case. Maybe Ty Dillon goes to 96 Gaunt Brothers Racing. Maybe that's very possible right there. Maybe he goes to Rick Ware Racing for all I know. Or maybe he goes to the 77 Aspire Motorsports. That's very possible, but there's rumors circulating that the 77 car is going to end up having multiple drivers in their cars, respectively, for the 2021 season, like Justin Haley's being rumored, and maybe some other guys like Reed Sorensen are being rumored to maybe go run their cars, especially since they're going to be a little more competitive as well in 2021. Uh, also, uh, let's talk about other teams, because Rick Ware Racing... They haven't confirmed their – they know their numbers that they're going to run for 2021. May, like I said, maybe Ty Dillon ends up going to Rick Ware Racing. And then Brendan Poole, of course. We haven't really heard anything about Brendan Poole too much 
regarding the 2021 season. We know that he's been currently in the running to maybe go back and return to the 15 car, but we thought maybe he'd be going to front row motorsports. Apparently, that may not be the case, but again, nothing is currently confirmed regarding Anthony Alfredo, but if Anthony Alfredo does go there, his goal, try to finish top 25 or top 30 in Sandwiches, try to do as good as John Hernandez did, and try to learn as well, and try to see if you can contend for some wins, especially on the super speedway tracks, and try to outperform the equipment like John Hunter Nemechek did at times in the NASCAR Cup Series Giant for Front Row Motorsports. So, anyway, that is going to be for today's NASCAR news video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel for so you can be notified when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Links go to below for that, and comment with your thoughts on today's video. What are your thoughts about the possibility of Anthony Alfredo going full-time with the 38 team? Uh, how well do you think he's going to perform with this team if he does go there? Do you think he'll perform well or not? Let me know, Constable. And what are your thoughts about Derek Cross going full-time and returning to McAnally Hilgeman Racing in 2021? Do you think he'll win a race with that team, and do you think he'll make the playoffs or not? Let me know, Constable. And also, by the way, support me on Patreon as well. The link's in the description are in the description below for that to check out that Patreon link as well. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like it so YouTube can recommend more of these great videos out to you guys. If you do that, I would greatly appreciate it. So, anyway, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.